In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my pipeline operating rhythm. The reason that this is important is because if you have a clear playbook for what actions to take to find more success, sales becomes an execution game. Either you do the right activities to win the day, or you choose not to, it's fully in your control. As you can see in this chart right here, the goal is to get eight points each and every day. You guys have seen this in the past and you've gone crazy for it, so I wanted to bring it back. I'm also a senior account executive who has a $216,000 quarterly quota target, and I need more pipelines, so I am challenging myself to get eight points each and every day. We're gonna break down the right activities that are associated with one point, and you wanna get to eight points each and every day. You can get one point for doing 10 net new prospects, meaning you go in an account or a couple accounts and you find 10 new prospects to add to your sequence. Per 10 new prospects you add to sequence, that is one point. The next way to earn points is by sending custom emails or in-mails. Per five net new emails you send, you earn one point. So if you go find 10 new people and you send 10 net new custom emails, then you'd get two points for the 10 emails, one point per five. So you can decide how many emails you wanna be sending each and every day. And I personally like to send emails every day because it brings fresh people in my prospecting sequence and it allows me to then make more calls every day because I really enjoy cold calling. Speaking of cold calling, that's another way you can earn points is by one point for every live conversation. So you actually get somebody on the phone, whether you set it or you don't set it, as long as you speak with someone, that's one point. If it's really brief and they hang up in the first 10 seconds or they just push me off, I don't always count it because I don't really consider that a real call. But it's important to be measuring the right metrics because early on in my sales career, I was a SDR and I said, hey, I'm not better than anyone else. I don't know what to do. I don't have the experience. I'm just gonna make more calls than everyone else. So I would be proud to say, hey, I made 100 calls today and I did that for nine months. It was helpful because it allowed me to become more efficient, but measuring yourself just on call volume it's a vanity metric. It's not actually productivity. It's just making calls because if you make 100 calls and you have five live conversations and I make 20 calls and I have three live conversations, I'm way more efficient. And what I did is actually more meaningful and I could do it in probably a fourth of the time. So per live conversation, you get one point. The next way to earn points is actually by setting a meeting as well. So if you can set a net new meeting via cold call, email, LinkedIn, in-mail, or carrier pigeon, whatever you're doing, per new meeting you set, that is one point. Another way to earn points is actually by qualifying an opportunity. That's something that in my organization is, is really important. The goal is to set up a meeting with the right buyer persona in the right account to qualify some sort of need. Do they have a pain that my solution can solve? Are they somebody that would be involved in the sales process? and do, do we have a scheduled next event? If we can meet those criteria, then it's a qualified opportunity, and that is legitimate pipeline. So you wanna get as many of those as possible, so you get one point per qualified opportunity. And the final way to earn points is by doing self-development, and self-development means something different for every person, so you ultimately will be the judge of if you actually learn something, if you just act like you're reading and give yourself a point for just saying you did something, it's virtue signaling and it shouldn't count. So what I did was I added self-development slash LinkedIn posts because I'm active on LinkedIn and if we're not already connected, go connect with me there now because I consider that furthering my personal brand, which in a way is self-development. So those are the ways to earn points and the goal is to get eight points a day. So you could do a combination of a few of them and I'm gonna put up a picture of my productivity this week. Um, at the time of this recording, I actually am not gonna get eight points today unless I decide to find 20 new people to add to my sequence, which I very well might. But the challenge is I'm actually traveling tomorrow. I'm going to, to President's Club um, and I'm excited to bring you guys with me. So make sure to subscribe to this channel now if you wanna follow along in the journey. But I challenge you, look at these different ways to get points. Maybe you wanna have two, you have two live conversations, you set two meetings, you do one hour of self-development, whatever it may be, and you send 10 emails, so that would be that would be seven points. You'd be one point away from hitting eight. So figure out your path to eight points and stay disciplined to say, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get these points today. As an account executive, I have so much come up on a day-to-day -day basis. I have to run meetings. 
I have to do pipeline health, discovery, negotiate, deal with customer problems and issues and all sorts of support. So you go into a day and you can have the best intentions to say, I'm gonna do these right activities to generate pipeline, but all of a sudden it gets carried away from you. And you leave that day and you say, D did I win the day today? What actually happened? And if you don't have a clear way to say, yes, I won, no, I didn't win, then you actually are, are, are not putting yourself in the best position to maximize your potential. That's why by following this pipeline operating rhythm, it allows you as an individual contributor to be very clear, very data-driven to say, I did what I needed to do today, or I didn't do what I needed to do today. If I were a leader, and for the leaders out there, I would absolutely hold my reps accountable to these metrics. I don't know if I would necessarily um, hawk them or micromanage and say, you need to hit these numbers or else, but I would encourage them to say, look, pipeline is necessary. It's an important part of your job. It's really the lifeblood of any successful sales organization. So if you hold yourself accountable to getting these eight points, then you will generate more pipeline. And reps do not miss quota who consistently get eight points each and every day over long periods of time. I know a lot of you are thinking, Trent, that document looks great. Can you share it with me? I'm absolutely happy to make it publicly available. All I need from you is to like the video right now, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and comment the cherry emoji below. I'll reach out to you personally. We can get connected on LinkedIn. And once you share your email with me, I absolutely can share it with you so that you can have access. Where I wanna end this video is just the ownership mindset. Nobody is coming to save your pipeline and that should get you worked up. That should fire you up to say, I need to go make it happen today. Nobody else is waking up and saying, hey, I'm gonna try and make Trent's pipeline, Trent's life way better today. I have SDRs, I have the ecosystem, I have all this support, but I take the ownership mindset of, I am going to make it happen. I am going to close the gap because nobody is coming to save me. A lot of people are thinking, but hey, they, they don't bring me pipeline, what do I do? Adopt that true hunter mindset of I eat what I kill and I will go find it. And secondly, believe that you are the man or the woman, whoever you are, however you may be watching. I look at myself in the mirror and I say, Trent, you are the man. And I have that confidence to myself. I say, I'm choosing to prospect today. I'm choosing to cold call. It's nothing I have to do because I'm choosing to do it. I believe in myself. I have the utmost confidence in my abilities. So nobody's coming to save me. I have the belief in myself. And then finally, what motivates me is I write down on my whiteboard that you guys could see previously, I write down my current weighted pipeline. So basically what I'm forecasting for the quarter. And my motivation is now the gap between where I'm at today and where I wanna be. And it pisses me off to look at it and say, I'm $200,000 in pipeline short, what I need to hit my targets. So it's an infinite pursuit. There should never be a point where you say, oh, well, I'm good, I, I hit my number, it's, it's all good. If they set a number here in the organization, so at my company, 30% of reps hit quota in Q1. That's absolutely inexcusable. When I look at my quota number, I look at it and I say, I set a target way up here. Despite my target being 216,000, my goal is 300,000. I set way bigger targets, so I'm always pissed off because I'm never where I need to be. So I feel like it's, it's that constant, never satisfied feeling. And the hungriest person is going to win in that fight. They are gonna catch what they wanna catch. They're gonna get the pipeline. They're gonna make it happen. So that's my mentality going into it. And when you apply that and reverse engineer it to this operating rhythm, it becomes very simple. It becomes an execution game. Either you decide to do it or you decide not to do it. Either you decide to be great or you decide to be average. It all comes down to what you want. I wanna be great, I want you to be great. That's why I make these videos each and every day. As I shared, I'm going to Mexico tomorrow for my President's Club trip. It'll be my first one. I'm definitely gonna make some videos behind the scenes, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. Happy hunting, talk to you in the next video.